What is going on guys? It is May 14th and like by some magical horticultural calendar, the Rhizoctonia salini has showed its head in this yard. I kind of figured we'd have a problem here because we're, uh, they got a, a lot of things. All of it we brought on ourselves. But uh, one of the main things is they got an irrigation company here that manages a sprinkler system. And I think they're having a contest to see how tall they can get this grass in between my weekly visits. Uh, I looked at the thing to see if maybe I could uh, change, you know, the, the uh, frequency and the timing on it. But uh, I think it's got like 50 some zones on it. This is the biggest damn sprinkler system I've ever seen inside. So not me. So I'm going to talk with that guy and tell him I'd like to see it running out here about every third day put me down half an inch about every third day but anyway I've been cutting a ton of grass off of it every time I mow it and I think I'm putting too much clippings on the yard for it to, to digest and plus all that moisture so I mean we, we made the conditions right here but uh, I'll show you a little bit of it all right the sun and the wind are brutal out here I don't know if it's really showing up but that's what we're looking at there All right, I figured I'd jump in here out of the wind. Um, I was due to put my fungicide on it today anyhow, but uh, you know, I'm gonna go ahead and get that out now. I got it uh, mixing in the tank. We had the uh, video the other day where we talked about fungicides, but I'm gonna give y'all a treat. We're gonna go up in the uh, PPC Total Turf drone and get a look at this grass from above so we can see the brown patch in it and see these six stripes I've been putting on it. Hang on. I am not sure if you can hear me from all the way up there in the PPC Total Turf Drone. I think there's a white balance problem with it too. Everything looks white. But uh, as you can see, I got these six stripes in here. Don't mind the big finger from the sky. And I, you know, I put the dollar sign in there. That's real tricky with the mower. But I got this special uh, brown patch identifying lens on the camera. As you can see, the little spots right there say BP. That's for that's not for butt pain. That's for brown patch. So, so there you can see it from above the the PPC Total Turf drone. First time in action. Yes, sir. I wear a gag out. I sure will. Anyway, we're gonna put out our uh, propaganda's all on this today. Keep an eye on it. We'll probably if it gets any worse, we'll go ahead and put the oxygen strobing on it. But uh, I'm also gonna put on the end of this video here a little update from the uh, centipede yard in the centipede video that I sprayed. But uh, I'm gonna stick that on the end, so check that out. This is a short video today. Appreciate you guys watching. Thanks a lot. What's going on guys? We're gonna do a quick uh, update on this uh, centipede yard that uh, we sprayed in the video about centipede grass the other day. Eh, got some, some all right results. Not, uh, not blowing it away, not uh, Matt Martin results or anything, but uh, we we're killing a little bit of stuff. I'll show you what we got. All right, there's some wild violet. It, uh, you know, I, did, I don't even, I didn't even think that this would really kill it. We usually, I usually get that uh, out of fescue with tricolor paper. There's some that was not sprayed along a ditch bank, and there's the other. So you can tell it's got it hurt up a little bit. There's some wood sorrel in there that looks like it's, it's taking a good hit. There was some plantain and curly dock out here. I can't even find the carcasses, so it must have got with that. Um, this looks like, uh, like maybe broom sedge or something, but uh, timing must have been good on that because I don't think you usually zap that stuff with what I sprayed on it. I, I don't really know, but it got that. There's some clover. Looks like it's hurting. Alright, now I did manage to kill this because so, I wanted to. I mean, this isn't over spray or anything. This is uh, pyracanthus, and uh, it was growing all up over the whole wall and coming down off the roof. And this bush has a thorn on it. Eh, they're not real big on it right now, but let's see if I can get one of them in there. But anyway, it's got a huge thorn on it. There's some, but they're not even mature yet. I think it'll get that long. I stuck one in my leg one time about three inches, and I thought I was going to die. But, uh, Anyway, they hired somebody to cut these off the wall and then they started growing back and 
this is my sister's house. She asked me if there was anything I could spray on them to get rid of them. So I introduced them to Mr. Triclopier and 2,4-D ester. And that's uh, that's two weeks. So Pyracanthus did not like Triclopier and 2,4-D ester. And that's only at an ounce and a half per gallon. Roasted. All right. Well, that's just a little bit here. I'm gonna run around and do some other things at some other places today, but that's that's just a little update on this one.